today we're off to the boys' favorite place. Oh, oh look at that one, River. It releases a chemical in your brain. Kitties, push, 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 Zaki. We're the Dove Londons. River, Zach, Jess, and I'm Tim. We've just set out on our latest adventure, a 12 month whole of life experiment to take the latest research on neuroscience and unlock the potential of our boys who have cerebral palsy. Some things in life are worth failing for. Join us and together we can brave this world. Break the world! We're gonna make it crazy Friday. What day is it today, Zaki? Crazy Friday. Crazy Friday, what does that mean? That's right, Zach. It's Friday, and it has been a long week. We've kicked some therapy goals, we've had lots of fun, we've made a big mess and caught up with some fun friends. And of course, we've laughed a lot. We've had our share of meltdowns, and I've definitely acted like a goose. But today's Friday, which means it's time for an adventure. Yeah. River, you ready? I'm ready. You ready? Ines, ready? Yeah. Zaki. <laughs> Not sure? Um, I don't know where we're going. Temporarily closed. I hope that's wrong. <laughs> I got an email that it was open. Are you sure? Yeah. What do you see over there, River? City Hopper. You see the City Hopper, do you? Well, part of our home program, we're, we're trying to do one day, one adventure a week, and we got this idea from Pia Stumpe when we worked with her in America. And at first, I was a little bit dubious about it. I thought, oh no, I like having fun, but um, you know, we were there for therapy, but the boys actually did some of their best stuff while we're on adventures. So yeah, we've started doing it and today we're off to the boys' favourite place, which is the museum. Working on walking and working on standing and sit to standing, um, but actually the boys are just going to have fun. Optimize walkers when we're in the interesting places, and also I think the museum is a really good chance for standing and um, no, sit to standing. Not. Museum is a perfect time for standing down. Is it? Perfect place to sit down. <laughs> Let's go. So we forgot the weights for the back of River's Walker and they help him kind of have a bit more control. Not a great move when the whole point of today was to uh, practice that but look at him, he's picking up the walker. I don't know what he's doing but he's having fun. So we didn't take into consideration the fact that the museum's going to be opening gradually after COVID-19. So. We actually have to wait an extra hour to be booked in. What do you, what do you think it is? It's, it's, it's for art. This is art. It's art, is it? Yeah. What was that, Zeki? I just ran with flat feet. You ran with flat feet? Like this. Wow. Getting Zach to stand and use his walker can sometimes be a struggle, but not today. I am a robot. Let's ask our barefoot neuroscientist what's going on here. Yes, so I'm definitely not a neuroscientist, just a wannabe. Um, so there's really a lot going on from a neuroplasticity point of view by taking the boys on adventures. You know, it's meaningful, it's an enriched environment, it's active engagement, there's 
potential for transference, there's reward, it's motivating, novelty. These are all really important parts of fostering neuroplasticity. But we're looking at mood, and this is something Michael Merzenich writes about. He's one of my favorite neuroscientists. Understanding scientific, uh, on a scientific level, the basis of what controls brain change. We know basically that you have to be engaged attentively. The more attentively uh, 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 focused you are, the more positive the enabling machinery of the brain is turned on. The mood that you are in when you are learning something new actually determines what happens in your brain. So if you're in a good mood, if you're on the ball, if you're focused, if you're interested, um, your, your brain releases a chemical in your brain so that you actually have more ability for fluidness in your brain to learn something new. Oh, look at that one, River. So if you're a teacher, if you're a therapist, if you're a parent, and you're trying to teach someone something new, and they're not in a good mood, they actually, they chemically are not going to learn that as well than if they're in a good mood. So this makes a huge difference on how we set up our spaces, the activities that we do, and for us, going and doing fun things together with the kids. What is that one? What do you think it is? A dinosaur head. A dinosaur head. <laughs> They're shells. Okay. Yeah. Hey? So the day provided us with plenty of opportunities for walking, standing and exploring. And the boys were in a great mood, primed for learning. But to be honest, the most fun happened afterwards when I thought I'd take a cheeky rest in the pram. So much for having a rest in the pram. I was just trying to have a rest. Go kitties! Push, 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 Saki! What are you guys doing? I So looking just at Zach's story and him using his walker, we've been working on this for months. And after we did his big spinal surgery, we really were working on good form in the walker. And just like two months ago, we weren't having heaps of success. There's a bug there. Can you squash the bug? Okay, red onto the red line. Remember our job, we're going to go walk on the red and walk on the blue. Oh. Oh, up and we were doing really short distances, three, four meters max before he was really tired. And then three weeks ago, we went on our first adventure and he did the best walking he's ever done. And again today, the museum, you know, he's in a great mood. He's seeing his friends, he's in a new place. The sun's out, we're all just enjoying each other. Um, even though we've got this secret therapy agenda. So guys, what was your favorite thing about the museum? My favorite thing was seeing the dinosaurs. Seeing the dinosaurs? What about you, Zaki? Ines was trying to kidnap us. Ines was trying to kidnap you. That's really not good. <laughs> this video and the possible project is made possible by you. Shout us a coffee and keep us going. Visit our Patreon site. Welcome to a day in the life of our home therapy program, The Possible Project. Oh <laughs> hey. Darren Boris Buffalo, the bravest of the brave, until that is that.